carriages come off, I thought we'd just have a brief look. I want to go into this in more detail at some point where people have asked about this. When they come, obviously they come with shelves and they come with a pole, or the fittings for a pole. So we don't need these swingle trees. Now, what happens is they get lost, they get rusted, they get damaged. So you, I remove the bolts out of them. I take the bolt that was in there, put it back in. Find a safe, dry place to keep them. I just nip them up with the old spanner. I don't ever do anything like this, to be perfectly honest. I've got a lad that comes in, brilliant lad, Rupert, comes in two mornings a week, or something like more, and maintains the carriages, does everything like this, but I just thought I'd show you. I've watched him, so I know how to do it. <laughs> so, put the bolt back on there. There's a swingle tree, all lovely and painted nice. And what I do is just cover them in a bit of grease, any old grease to do anything you've got, and wrap them up in an old rag, put them away somewhere. Two reasons. One, if you ever get a pair, obviously you need it. You know. Point two is if you ever sell the carriage, your pole and these swingle trees will be lovely and clean. But what it does do is remove this weight. You know, why have it? Why do we need to take it around if we don't need to? So, put that one there. Just whip this one off. Same thing. So, they got a locking nut on, obviously, underneath, which stops them falling off like a nylon locking nut but it's good to get them done also i'm going to talk briefly about the shelves when you buy a vehicle it can make a considerable difference so again put that in back on tighten them up and a couple of turns on them locking nuts and they'll hold nice So that's that. Now, we'll talk about this in, in greater depth another time. When this was supplied, it was supplied with these quick releases. I would be very careful where I get these. I've never had any trouble from, you know, they're supplied by Artland. I've never had any trouble, but I know loads of people have had a lot of trouble with these. Some are made, uh, you know, in China, somewhere like that, and maybe not reliable, yeah? But these ones, I've never had any trouble. That's all I can say. I'm not recommending them. I'm not saying they're better than anybody else's. I'm just saying for these, I haven't had any trouble. Now, these fit onto here. You can get another type that fits onto your trace. So you open the key ring up and you put these on. Turn that round. Okay, so that's that's on there. Now what I do, different to this, I replace this pin with a stainless steel bolt and locking nut because of the amount of use our carriages get. You know, they've got to be as safe as we can make them. Now, key rings always wear out in time, etc., etc. If you've got a locking nut, the same as what we've just taken out off the swingle trees and put them into here, a small one with a locking nut on, do it up, it's going to live there forever, it's going to be safe. What I do with these is I do wash them. People say to me, well, you're crazy. Not crazy at all. Inside here, there is a spring, right? When we go chasing through the river, there's dirt can get down inside these quick releases, yeah? So what I do every now and again is I pull this out, I put WD-40 or the equivalent thing down there, and I work that like that so it cleans all the muck out, and then I'll put grease you know, stuffed in as far as I can get this down in there and I'll put some around the pin and work it in so it's kept nice and greased up. And then just wipe them over with a light oil or just a spray and they'll keep nice for years, you know, lovely. Cart young lady's chosen for this is a small as we can go with this pony. It's not going to get any taller, the pony, so we haven't got to worry about that. But it's as small as we can go. But what I want to point out is these can vary so much uh, from, from vehicle to vehicle, from manufacturer to manufacturer. But if you look here, for instance, here, you know, this side here, look, 
it rises up so the fore carriage or turntable rises up this rises up and here rises up so a cart that looks terribly small back there if we take a spirit level just as a straight edge and we put across here yeah so we know that's level because we're going by the actual thing right you can see that we've got to come underneath this just there right so you can see there we've got a full well at least at least four and a half five inches this actually reads five and a half to here yeah but it's actually four and a half because we lose an inch back here because i can't hold that up perfectly straight that's about it there let's just measure that again yeah and as you see there so about four and a half inches yeah now what does that mean well what it means is this vehicle when we look at it it will look quite squat quite low down but we've gained a full hand in height so if these were straight here and this was straight this shelves would be down there which would make the vehicle too small so when this is on this vehicle the maximum height fit will have is a 13 and this one happens to be 12 3 so 13 and 13 one at a push so we're comfortably within the height that we want so that's basically all i'm going to say about this cart now so we remove these swingle trees we don't need them as i say wrap them up put them away with the pole keep it wrapped up keep it clean when you sell your carriage you got still got it all looking brand new if you look after your carriage it's a thing most people don't use the poles and normally for singles so but you know when you come to sell it might be someone that definitely does want so that's just that also the other thing is just mentioned this these swingle trees are very stiff can you see too stiff to go on a collar of a pony they soon get loose they soon move there's soon a bit of room where they'll go backwards and forwards easier what i do you can see the bolt passes right down through here underneath you'll see right down we're just going to unnip that just a tiny bit just so it's looser so it swings like it says swingle tree so it swings freely so that's all i want to say about the vehicle i've already got an idea of where these shelves have got to be so some of that is experience because obviously we've fitted a lot over the years but what i've done is I've measured from the harness, from his chest, back. I've measured the horse himself. And these shelves at this length will be right for this horse. Give him enough clearance behind to be comfortable. Enough room to let his britching operate correctly. And uh, so I'm just going to move this out of the way now. Put all my bits out of the way for you. And um, get my pony in position and then we'll put him to. So I'll bring my vehicle up to my pony. There's always people that want to correct you in what you say and what you do. So let me just qualify anything I do is what I do. That may not be the same as any organization. It might not be the same as someone else does. There's always variance all the time. For me, this is the right way. So this is sitting in the center of the pad. I'm gonna take this now, go down. I'll fit it on. If I've guessed it right, it won't be too far out of line. You can see there i'm going to pick that up you know we talked about having a britching carrier a trace carrier i mean i'm going to use a britching strap to do the same job so i'm going to come over here i'm not going to wrap 
this again I'm going to go around the shaft and I'm just going to put that there temporary for a minute okay so now this has become a bridging carrier the problem is with this it's not in the right place it's up here we need one coming here to hold the, the trace up there but for now that will do I'm going to bring that up there so this distance back here is the minimum that I want I can adjust the shelves here and take them out a little more yeah so I can use more of my trace so I can come back to here anywhere along there but just for demonstration purposes I'm happy with that the way it is people say to me oh you're doing that wrong you should have someone standing at his head this is a pony just completed his training or virtually completed it. he's got another week or so to do but I understand the pony I know him I broke him I trained him he will stand there for as long as I want him to as you've seen with the rest of the things we've done with him would I do it with another one I wouldn't do it with anyone else's pony but if I've broke him I know how he's going to be people say I want you should have the reins on and a bit in his mouth at this point no not for me I don't want them reins getting caught up while I'm doing this anything like that and, and you know hurting his mouth in any way no good don't want to do that so I won't be doing it just come down here again now and I know that that when that comes on there that's going to fit nice now what I don't want to do is have his hocks too close to this so this is as tight as I want to be I would not go any tighter than this if this horse was to slip going uphill and lose his footing he could slide this hock back underneath here yeah we don't want to do that do we so there's a baby so there's a good lad stand still so this is okay now what I'm going to do now is let these shelves out maybe four to six inches more just to give me a little bit more room make the pony a little bit more comfortable and take up the I don't want all this surplus of trace sticking around the front here I don't want that so if you can see here I don't want all this we've got no keepers here to hold it so I would far sooner it be back for it to be back I need to move the carriage back for to move the carriage back I need to move these shelves to elongate the shelves make them slightly longer that's a good boy yes you are darling good boy I'm just going to show you how I do this. Breeze here filming, very patient. Would like to go in and have her tea, really, but <laughs> we're going. Toffee. Yes, so with toffee, yeah. Toffee wants to go and have his tea. Yeah. He thinks, I don't want to be a superstar. Have you got any tape in your pocket there, please? So, we always has the tape. We always carry tape, both of us, I run out. So what I'm going to do now is for when you're adjusting shelves this is a good idea so I'll take a piece of tape and I'll put it on here and up the shaft there yep okay I'll break that off now what that's doing if you come around here and look this way here I know that that's this shaft is set at the right angle so when I take this out these inches that I want to I know that my line will be the same won't it because I can keep that in line as it is there so because we're only fitting this this one is loose this is the only one that's tight I'll just take that off that's the locking nut 
when I talk about carriages and new ones and when they arrive and how you fit them, or the safest way of doing so, I can do that better in another film, you know, dedicated to it. But you see now, I can lift this. You know, we talked about that inches, yeah? I know I've kept the line in the same place. Yeah, if we look down here now, we can see that that's in the same place as it was, and you've moved it forward that much. Also now, what we can do is do exactly the same on the other one. Just makes life so much easier. I'll put the tape down, like that, like that there. It don't really matter where you put it on the tube as long as it's in line. Now what I need to do is just get me tape. Take a measurement here. I'll guess this, but I know it'll be right. I've moved so many. So there you go, about four and a half there. Okay. These are a good thing. Whoever invented these little thing here, they're brilliant. I've had this for years, but it's been so good, you know, it really works well. You've got sort of like a handle part on it, it's really good. They're worth buying, they're not fortunes at all, you can buy them on the internet. So I'm informed by my chief advisor, Re. She tells me you can buy them on there for just a couple of quid. So here we go out again, we take it out, we got the line right. I need to make sure that's four and a half, a little bit more. There, touch more, touch more. Just there. Keep that right, make sure I'm in line. It saves so much time putting that bit of tape on. Because obviously, when you're moving it, the tendency is to twist it this way or that way, and then it's not gonna fit the horse. So now we've done that, we've gained four and a half inches. Put it back down on the pony. You can see me having to move the carriage back a bit now. Now all I'm going to do is just put one trace on because once one's on, the rest is self-explanatory. When we make the full film in this series on the carriage and, you know, getting it basically ready for use, putting it together. Stand still, darling. He's a good boy. Um, Stand still now when I tell you, that'll do. Hey, pay attention. So this all fits nice and snug. Everything's right. We can now bring this back, put it on there. And what we'd be able to do is let this out which is going to be two full holes there, put it back in, and with our swingle tree straight, you can see there, you've got a nice line of draft, we don't want it down any lower, don't particularly want it any higher, it's just a nice line of draft, this is in the right place, it's all right, some people will say, that seems a little bit low on him, the shelves here, a little bit low. They're not in actual fact, they're just about right. What you have to take into account is the shape of your shelves. These shelves here, for instance, only have one fitting and it's here and it's up here. So if you look at the angle of that, when it's fixed on there, there is a pull down and yet there is a hold back. Yeah, so there's a nice pull down, but it's not pulling on here. You know, it's comfortable and that's the way it will be. So we fitted the pony to the vehicle. So there's his collar there. You can see that everything as it should be. I'm just going to show you this little bit now. We're going to pick this trace up. Not that it's going to do any, any good very much, but it's better than nothing because we haven't got any anger on here. We will have 
when we drive him, I mean, we have obviously got dozens of them hanging up. Um, but I shall probably put the bands on for the young lady so that she's ready to go. So now you can see this is restrained by this square and the one going through that buckle before it goes to its own buckle. I can put this tab away now. Now if this is forward, if you watch the vehicle being, you know, when, when the vehicle, when he's taking the weight going downhill, yes, you've got brakes, but what would happen, this would come forward and it would be share the load between the bridging, can you see? And from the pad here, would share the load between the two to help stop it on his back and on here, yeah? So that's what we're looking for. The angle here is right. You can only work with what you've got. This is how this is fitted. We can do it. If it was back here, wouldn't be a bad thing. Give a little bit more angle. But that's where it is. So we've got this angle right. We know that this is right. We know this is right. We know the croup is right. We know the pad's right. Now I'm just going to say one other thing. When you see this pony next time, when we're fitting, we're talking about the vehicle, and we put it together and drive it out of the yard, these will be fitted. The young lady bought these. These are waffle pads. I highly recommend them. Absolutely. I believe in them. I think they're the best thing you can possibly have. They're far superior, in my opinion, to cotton. People have said to me, I like the cotton ones because you can put them through the wash. Well, you can put these through the wash just the same. They say they like the cotton ones because they don't make them sweat. That I would agree with. But, you know, these are much, much better. A waffle pad is much, much better than, than you know, an ordinary polythene type pad, yeah? So that's the pad there. I'm not going to fit this now because it's going to alter everything about our harness. But what I, what I say, what I don't like, this is perfectly good. We showed you all the waffle pad underneath here, underneath here, even round the bridge in his waffle pad. Exactly the same material as this. But we're going to put these underneath here. Yeah, I'm fit them on. And another one will be coming around here, fitted. That is when we do the last film which is show, going around the car, showing everything to look for, to check for, what to have, maybe some, you know, all the bits and pieces we do here. But that's a basic insight into a basic set of harness, fitted to a pony, the pony fitted to the carriage. We haven't got the other trace on, we haven't done the other bit the other side. I just want you to get the thing, when we do the other one, we'll fit it all correctly, you know, adjust the finite adjustment again and it'll all be done you know, as we do it here. Please don't say to me, oh yes, you don't do it like that. No, I do do it like that. You do it how you do it. Some organisations will say it different. Some organisations say, having a horse with this round its neck and tied to here is not right. It's no good. You just have someone standing and said, at the risk of repeating myself, I broke this pony. I know exactly what it'll do, when it'll do it, and how it'll happen. That's my job to make sure they're safe, confident and happy. And this little pony is. He's been with us six or seven weeks now. Um, we've had a bit of hold up waiting for this to come. But that's how long he's been with us. And uh, as you see in all these films, he stands there quiet and does what I asked him to do. Safe, confident and happy. <laughs> OK, I hope you've enjoyed that. Last film will be putting it all together and driving out the yard. OK.